The Apostle Paul's passion was not a set of buildings and pieces of property that he left behind in his churches. That was not what Paul got excited about. We could make a case for Paul's letters being a passion, and they certainly were a passion of his and they're very important to us. But we know from Paul's letters that he named 59 different leaders. And that reveals what Paul's passion really is. Paul's passion was the leaders that he was working with because leaders are our legacy. The seven churches that are mentioned in the book of Revelation, it's a reminder to us that churches will come and go, but the leadership of the church, the church, it never stops, it never ends, it always remains because someone's leaving a legacy behind. And so our mission is to make disciples who make disciples who will then start churches that start churches by leaving leaders behind, by investing in leaders. We refer to it as nurturing tomorrow's leaders today. The leading churches of tomorrow are being started today. The leaders of tomorrow are the young leaders that are emerging today and so we want to invite you to join us in a legacy offering here at the end of 2021. We want to invite you to join us in our mission of nurturing tomorrow's leaders today by making leaders themselves our legacy as we invest in them through coaching, through mentoring, through training, through community, and through the accountability systems that we put in place for our leaders. Our desire is to raise up leaders who will pass the torch of leadership to the next generation, and they'll then pass it to the next generation after them. Third John verses six and seven instruct us in this way. John writes the apostle and he says, you will do well to send these leaders on their journey in a manner that's worthy of God. Why? because they've gone out for the sake of the name. We're sending church planters out across the country for the sake of the name, for the sake of Jesus, our Lord. They're making disciples who make disciples and they're starting churches that are helping us start churches. They're, they're engaged through us in the coaching, the mentoring, the training, the community, and the accountability. And we're collecting $10,000 at the end of this year as a legacy offering so that we can continue to make leaders our legacy. We'd love for you to join us and have leaders be your legacy as well.